hello and welcome to my channel mission mba and as you know and as i promised i'll bring each and every class online and everything free of cost and that too of the best quality no question of gmat quant will come out of this particular area so just please subscribe like and share let's move ahead to some difficult questions of data sufficiency on statistics i hope you have seen all the previous video on statistics we have discussed about the basic concept then the difficult questions and easy questions on each and every topic specifically now moving to the data sufficiency questions and that to mixed so all are good questions i wish that you should uh, pause the video try them on your own and then only see the solution let us see what we have the first question for the day all right so the question says a scientist recorded a number of eggs in each of 10 birds nest all right what was the standard deviation so the question is about standard deviation and i'm looking for a standard deviation of 10 elements all right the average number of eggs for the 10 nest was 4 so if i know the mean that is 4 can i calculate the standard deviation absolutely not why because we want to know x minus x bar square we need to know what are the other numbers if they all are 4 you know the standard deviation is 0 if they are like 2 3 4 5 6 there would be some standard deviation and if they are far from the 4 and still have the mean 4 then also we'll have different standard deviation and greater so standard deviation cannot be just told by the mean you need to know the nature of the numbers so this one is definitely not sufficient let's move to the second statement each of the 10 nests contained the same number of eggs guys if each of the 10 nests contained the same number of eggs that means each of them has the same number so if all of them are x whatever x may be i don't care guys what would be the mean x and if the mean is x all the numbers are x then none of the number is deviated from the mean and i've already told you go back to the lecture of standard deviation if you do not remember if all the numbers of set are same then the standard deviation is zero remember standard deviation is always positive or zero but never negative and when it is zero when all the numbers are equal that's what option 2 says so yes if all the nest contain same number of x standard deviation is absolutely zero and that is simple done so this is sufficient the answer to this question is b statement 2 alone is sufficient but 1 alone is not so very conceptual question that is why i say listen to each and every lecture very carefully the concepts lectures are guys very important you might feel ye to aata hai this is very easy i can do it but there are some points which you might miss so please be very careful let's move to the next question also guys please whenever i just give you a question pause the video try on your own and then press the play button also you can adjust the speed if it is too fast for you go down there you have 0.75x if it's slow for you go down there in the settings you have 1.25x all right let's try the second question if the average of five different numbers is 12 okay so we are given the average what is the median of five numbers all right average is given looking for the median the median of the five numbers is something and okay let's go to the white page and try it out pause the video try on your own otherwise let's go ahead and try this question with me so guys whenever you are given the number of numbers and mean you can easily find the sum how see mean equals to sum of numbers upon number of numbers correct now what is the sum of numbers i don't know i need to find that but what is the number of numbers i know that it was five numbers and that to different numbers be very careful now what was the mean mean was 12 so 12 equals to sum upon 5 this gives me that sum is equals to 60 
in data sufficiency question resolve the question statement first and then move to the statements otherwise you might miss some areas now i haven't read the statement so far but i have found out that the sum is 60 the numbers are 5 the mean is 12 that's what i already know about the set now let's read the other statement the median of the five numbers okay now see they are different numbers right they are five different numbers let us say x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 arrange in ascending order let us say the median of the set that would be the central one that is x3 that is equals to one third of the sum of other four numbers the other four numbers is x1 plus x2 plus x4 plus x5 you also know sum of all the numbers so sum of all the numbers x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 what is that that is simply 60 we have just found it out now can i write everything in x3 if yes i'll be able to find out the median why median is x3 so we just need to find x3 of course i can write it down so x3 is equals to one third what is the value of this term this is nothing but 60 minus x3 that's it 60 minus x3 now you have an equation in x3 it will be solvable don't waste your time in solving it the idea in data sufficiency is whether the data is sufficient or not i have the equation in x3 easily solvable i will be able to solve it and get the answer even i'm not able to solve it let us say still i can find it right so the idea is x3 is available i can find it out so this data is definitely sufficient now let's go to the second statement do not just simply mark a second also we have to give a chance the answer might be both alone are sufficient the sum of the four numbers other than the median that is x1 plus x2 plus x4 plus x5 is equals to 45 great i know the total sum that is 60 I know the sum of 445. So what is the remaining one? Of course, 15. 60 minus 45. I have five numbers summing up to 60. Four are 45. What is the last number? 60 minus 45. That's 15. And which number did you leave? It was clearly the sum of the other four numbers other than the median, right? Simple. So median is 15. This is also sufficient. Guys, the answer is the telly. I hope you understood. If you haven't, please re-watch the video for this particular question and remember this is a standard approach whenever you will give me the mean whenever you will give me the number of numbers question will have something to do with the sum of numbers and you can easily find it out number of numbers multiply by the mean that's it so if mean is 10 number of numbers are 5 what is the sum 5 into 10 50 so if mean is 12 number of numbers are 5 what is the sum of numbers 5 into 12 that's 60 i hope it is quite clear let's move to the next question and see what we have the last one for this video all right so the lifetime of all the batteries produced by a certain company in a year have a distribution that is so symmetric about the mean that simply means if i have a mean at the center 50 percent lie over here and 50 percent lie over here all right now if the distribution has a standard deviation of d what percent of the distribution is greater than m plus t so for this i'll have to draw the chart and if you don't remember this particular kind of questions please guys go back watch that video in which i discussed the bell curve that is going to answer this particular question okay let's go and see so let's draw the bell curve for you now if this question would have been problem solving then i have already told you the percentages which m plus d has m plus 2d has but right now since this is a data sufficiency question so the percentage thing is totally eliminated we do not know how they are aligned but we know that they are symmetrically aligned all right so i don't know that this is 34 percent is 34 percent this is some percent this also is some percent if this is not making sense to you please watch that video the bell curve if you have directly come to this video without watching the standard deviation curve video it's difficult this has been told to you right now guys the mean is m i know it is symmetric right you are looking for 
m plus d and greater than m plus d or less than m plus d greater than m plus d so i'm looking for this particular area all right this is what question is asking me all right now let's see what the option statement tells us 68 percent of the distribution lies in interval from m minus d to m plus d all right so i'll draw a different figure here so that you do not lose track of the question so m minus d and m plus d this is m so this particular area this is given to you that this is 68 percent now since it is symmetric about the mean so can i say that if this is x this is also x because it is symmetric about the mean greater than m plus d is equals to less than m minus d of course you can see from the figure now the total is 100 percent 60% has been shaded. Can you say that 68 plus x plus x equals to 100? Yes. From here you can easily get the value of x which is 16. That's it guys. I can find out the x. So I can find out this area. This area is nothing but the x greater than m plus t. So this data becomes automatically sufficient. How could I answer this question? Only because you told me that it is symmetric about the mean. If you understand this graph, you understand the areas, it's simple. 68 from here to here, x here, x here. Why both are x? Symmetric about the mean, guys. Greater than m plus d is equals to less than m minus d. Greater than m plus 2d equals to less than m minus 2d, right? Let me show you exactly what does it mean. See, if I say symmetric about the mean, that means this area if this is y then this is also y m plus t and m minus t total of course is 100 percent then if this area m plus 2d this is z so this is also z and so on so you are going to use that okay now let's try the second statement alone 16% of the distribution is less than m minus d, all right? So m and m minus d. This area is 16%. Guys, again, same thing. Symmetric about the mean, m minus d less than is 16%. So here is where will be something m plus d. And grid then would be same as this, isn't it? Symmetric, m minus d, m plus d, symmetric. This is also nothing but 16%. That's it. This is what you were looking for. So this is also sufficient. So the answer to this question is D. So this is also a good question on bell curve or mean distribution curve when it is symmetric. Remember, all these things only work when it is about symmetry. This is a good 700 plus question. Rarely people, you know, go through these detailed concepts of uh, bell curve. They generally skip this topic. But if it comes, you cannot attempt it if you do not know the idea about it and in case you are still struggling go back to the video where we talk about the mean distribution curve for the first time then attempt the two questions over there and then this then only you will be able to understand it if you've understood it very well so guys please like share and subscribe spread it with your friends because here we are bringing you the quality education and we're working for you day and night and slowly slowly we will bring in the entire course Start with a difficult topic statistics, but a topic which will be definitely asked. All right, so guys, have a good day. Bye bye and take care. This is Rahul, and that's it for the day. Thank you.